Welcome back to Circle Club Entertainment here for an interesting kind of video, a different kind of video, but nevertheless, another video here on the Circle Club channel, and we're going to be talking about some new diecast arrivals. Now, I don't really collect that many NASCAR diecasts anymore, as you guys probably may or may not know. I slowed down a little bit. But as of recent times, a few more diecasts have been given to me as gifts or stuff that I've been trying to find for a while that I was going to get regardless. Um, so we got a haul here of um, they all they're all 164 diecasts. So no 124s now in this video, but maybe down the road that will change. But let's talk about some of these cars. And there's also. A bonus thing that I'm going to show up at the end of the video, but we're going to start off with the basic stuff here first. The first new car, Chase Elliott and his 2024 Hooters paint scheme. The camera wants to focus. Here it is, fresh in the box, 2024, so Chase Elliott. We're still collecting Chase Elliott, so don't worry, guys. Chase Elliott's still relevant here. And now the next car, another 2024. Here's Chase Elliott and his Hendrick Ruby Red 40th Anniversary uni Unifirst car. I almost said University. Unifirst uh, Chevrolet Camaro in the Ruby Red color. So there's that one. Then we have ourselves uh, Chase Elliott and his 2023. So this is a last year car being released now. Here is the Napa Gold Filters. Kind of like to call this one the Napa Night Owl. Uh, I just like to call it the Night Owl because it's black. Then you have Chris Busher and his Build Submarines car. This is a really random car. But this one came in as well. So you got that one. And then the two-pack you have. And I actually waited a little longer to order this. Here is Ryan Priest and Chase Briscoe's Talladega Nights Talladega Throwback weekend cars really really cool i waited to get them like this this i waited to get them in the two pack so that i could just get them together in the same box instead of getting them individually and getting them individually wouldn't have been a problem but to get this special box was definitely worth the wait so here they are the cars in the box number 41 wonder bread number 14 old spice of course ricky bobby and cal Naughton jr uh throwbacks right there so those are your standardized uh, die casts. And now we're going to get into something pretty interesting that we got recently. The box that came in. Bam! Here it is. A wave of NASCAR Authentics cars from, I believe, this is 2020 or 2021. This one, I believe, is going to be the raced version wave. Uh, I think it was during... We're about to find out. Uh, but this is a wave of... Uh, NASCAR diecast that was a pretty good deal. No, that was not the price that I paid for this. Um, I'm not going to disclose that in the video because it was a really generous price. So not going to disclose that, as I said. But there is a special car in here that I got this for in particular, this set, this box set. Um, a lot of these cars I do have in my collection on my collection wall. But, you know, the price is low. Definitely pick it up. So we're going to dig into this. Got to figure out how to do this without having to pause the video here but i guess we'll talk a little bit uh so yeah i'm not fully retired from uh collecting nascar diecast it's just gonna be a few cars that are if i see a good deal or if it's a car that i really really want um so i can get this open then i'll shell some money out for it right now i just got that first bit of tape off now i gotta tear off the second bit that's like probably the most second most entertaining thing to do is rip the tape off the box. All right, here we go. Let's see what's inside, and we're going to do this together. What's inside of this box? It's going to take a look in the box. So we're going to go car by car, and it looks like this is the right wave. All right, guys, so let's dig right into this. We're going to start off with... Joey Logano and his 2020 Las Vegas race version. And this is a new one that I did not have. So this is going to be at least a new car here that I didn't have in my collection. Is Joey Logano and his Pennzoil win from the 2020 season. Of course, 
car is produced in 2021, but the car itself is from 2020. I have his 2019 one, but not his 2020. So this is a brand new one that I did not have already. So that's a new exciting race version piece right there to add. Next up is another Chase Elliott uh, Gold Bowling 235 winner. So I have another one of this car now. And because I had to buy the whole set to get the new cars, that's why you're going to see some duplicates in here. But here is what's in the wave. There are two cars that I did not have, and I'll I'll review those in a second. I'll show you those. But is there another Chase Elliott? Let's see. We have another Chase Elliott, except this is the iRacing truck. So, man, I got to be one of the very few people to have two of this one it is so hard to get this as it is so to have a second one is pretty special so pretty nice to see that a chase alley i racing truck another one so pretty cool to have stuff for one of my drivers chase elliott and now we're gonna get on to we'll say probably the most exciting piece for last as i'm already seeing it as it is got some extra paper so it's always nice to have extra paper because why not here is another Grant and Finger truck, and I'm saying another for this because, like I said, these are duplicates. I, I already have these. I just got this. This was given to me as a gift for a really cheap price, so I figured why not pick this up, right? Here is the Grant and Finger truck, and guess what? If I want to unbox this one, I can because I have one in uh, my collection, so I'll now be able to maybe review some of these race versions. Who knows? We could probably review some of these. If y'all want me to, you can definitely look at these. So there's another one of that Grant Enfinger, fresh from the source. Uh, let's pull this one out. Is this the Brad Kozlowski or the Cole Custom? Another one. So now I have three of these. One that's in the box, one that's not in the box, and now another one in the box. This is Cole Custer. And it's 2020 Kentucky raced version again. So, yeah, why not? Pretty interesting, right? Uh, a rookie win. Cole Custer, and to think this team is not even going to be a thing anymore in 2025. Holy cow! Wow, that's probably going to be valuable for that alone. Uh, let's see the next one. This is Brad Kozlowski. God, this thing will come out of the box here. Another Brad Kozlowski Bristol Race version, of course, is another one I had in my collection, but we have ourselves another one because the set comes with it. So here it is, the Bristol the Supermarket Heroes 500 during 2020. It's the back of the box. There's that one. So let's see what the rest of this box has. You have Martin Trix Jr. and his Martinsville raced version from 2020. This is the one that has that piece of fender missing, I think. Yeah, that's that race version, guys. So we have ourselves a Martin Trix Jr., another one of my drivers. Of course, really cool to have this. Uh, this was the, for any of you newer viewers, man, this camera sucks today, doesn't it? For the newer viewers, this is the pre-Winter Circle era, so no bubble box in these. This is actually how they used to be before they improved the race versions for the next-gen era and the newer trucks in Xfinity. But yeah, pretty cool. Kind of a retrospective to see some of these 2020 moments. Uh, let's see the next one in the box. Like I said, I'll save the most exciting one for the end. Uh, let's see. I believe this next one is a Ryan Blaney. Let's see. Is it Ryan Blaney? Yep. Ryan Blaney and his 2020 Geico 500 raced version. Uh, this is the one that, that Talladega win that he got. So, pretty cool to have that. And this one, this is one where I'm glad that I had one of these already because this one has a paint chip on the front grill right there. So, yeah, pretty spectacular. But, you know, Ryan Blaney, Talladega. Uh, here's the, the box to it. Got a cool little race car mask. It's kind of cool. Here's the back again. And I believe there's a duplicates of one of these. I believe it's Ryan Blaney. Uh, let me see. And, yes, another Ryan Blaney Talladega win. And this one also has a paint chip, so that, that's spectacular. Right there, boom. So, both of them had paint chips. 
Uh, but nonetheless, it's pretty interesting to have this race version three different times. Uh, the first time that I bought it, and then these two. So I have two uh, Ryan Blaney uh, race versions now. So two of this one I have. Uh, two of that one, two of that one, two of that one, two of that one, two of these, one of this Joey Logano. This is the the new one that I did not have, so I'll, oops, I'll include that with the new stuff. And now here is the one that I honestly bought this pack for, got this pack for, literally to get this car. You'll never guess who it is. It is our new favorite driver. Denny Hamlin and his 2020, I almost said 2019, I almost screwed this one up, folks. Denny Hamlin and his Daytona 500 from 2020. So, a funny story behind this one. So, we mentioned how Denny Hamlin is my new favorite driver that I just added to my favorite driver's list. Or might as well call him my new favorite driver. Uh, Denny Hamlin we met recently, he left a good impression on me. And, but here's the thing, uh, for you newer viewers, years ago, Denny Hamlin was, or not years ago, I would say for years at least, Denny Hamlin was one of my more disliked, uh, drivers or figures involved in NASCAR for a long, long time. So because this car came out around that time, uh, I did not buy this because what I would do is I, I would get like the drivers that I really liked. But I wouldn't buy the ones that I did not like. I was very, I was very picky and very choice makey. I guess you could say when it came to what race versions I got. And because I didn't like Denny at the time, this was not one of them. So I literally thought that I would never have a chance of getting this car again. When I became a Denny Hamlin fan recently, I'm like, man, I'm never gonna be able to get some of these uh, older Hamlin race versions that they did, especially this one, because this one seems to be one that is kind of uncommon. Uh, but this this Denny Hamlin Daytona 500 race version with the Authentics box and card, look at that. That is a beauty race version right there. Uh, looks to just be confetti, not really much other than that going on with this. Here's the back. But yeah, really, really cool FedEx Toyota right here. So Denny Hamlin, our new favorite driver. Finally have his Daytona 500 win. I, I might have Denny so go ahead and sign this the next time I see him. So now this is something else to add to the Denny Hamlin uh, collection. I had a bit of tape residue on this box. That's just great. Had to end up on the Hamlin one. Uh, but there you go. So out of all the cars, these were the two that I did not have. And now they can be added to the collection as brand new. So these are the new cars right here. So you got you guys might be asking what will I be doing with the cars that were duplicates? Um, it's a very good question. Uh, I know these Chase Elliott ones. I have a new spot that I display NASCAR diecasts at. Uh, the room that you're in right now is the gaming room and stuff. So you have a bunch of the diecasts um, on the wall, and these are one of them. These all these you'll see up there. Uh, so these might be displayed elsewhere, maybe in another spot. I don't, these could probably go in the bedroom. These ones, I am going to keep them in the box. I don't know if I'm going to unbox these and review them. I mean, I could if I really wanted to. Like, these are cars that I already have. So if I had them outside of the box, it really wouldn't make that much of a difference. I could also hang these up in the bedroom somewhere. Uh... Or I could sell them. Now, how much would these things be worth if I tried to sell them? I'm not quite sure. Uh, some of these, um, like these two have paint chips and these are, I don't know. They don't look to be defective in any way. I didn't really look at them very close. But if they are rare, I know those two, I think, are a little bit more rare than the rest. This one for sure is definitely rare. So I could sell this for like 60 bucks, but I'm not doing that. I don't like to sell things at unreasonable prices, and I wouldn't do it. Like, if a kid were to, like, come and, like, visit or whatever, and they wanted a NASCAR diecast, I guess that's where these could go. Um, I don't know exactly how to run contests on YouTube where you, 
like have people like play something and they win this as like a prize or something and like here you go here's your prize like I, I don't know how to do stuff like that i know one of the youtubers i used to watch that the one that passed away what was his name jb racing used to do a contest where he would just buy a bunch of die casts and he would do like this predict the top five top ten and you could just if you got all top five, top ten correct, you get to choose a prize out of his little prize box that he would have. And he would have all these. And then he was like, you know what? Uh, sign up for the car you want and I'll deliver it to you. Man, those are the days. Uh, yeah, rest in peace, JB Racing. Uh, but other than that, what I'll be doing with these, it's pretty unclear at the moment. They are going to be kept for now. Uh, so don't worry. These are not being disposed in any way. These are going to be for something. Uh, they're definitely not going to be able to be used for customs anymore because, uh, one, I don't run the Flash Racing Cup series anymore. I'm still working on a video of the history of that series and why it doesn't exist anymore. Um, still got to do that, but it had I still been, it had they kept the, it had they kept the Gen 6 and Cup for a few more years, I could have used these for customs, but thing is it's just not uh but yeah so there's a couple things that could be done but you know if you guys are probably was like well if you, if you didn't if you had a bunch of the cars and there were only two new ones couldn't you just buy these two separate i could have done that but it was not an option because they were not allowing me to they said you have to buy the whole set uh to get uh those two cars right there um and it was being sold at a pretty good deal so if you're getting a bunch of cars for 15 bucks, and if you're not having to spend $30, take it. <laughs> I mean, look at all these die casts you get here, folks. Uh, but yeah, I'll figure out what to do with these guys. Uh, let's just get one final look at the new die casts. Of course, Chase Elliott's Ruby Red. Whenever I have time to review this stuff, I will. I'm not, I don't really have as much time, but I do nowadays because it's summer vacation, so maybe I can get some reviews in during that time still working on some channel changes so that's why you haven't really seen many reviews but yeah guys uh nonetheless pretty good die cast haul uh, and, and this two pack right here is pretty exciting i might dig into this and probably review this uh, i hope the box isn't too hard to open uh, it's like that i can get into these cars but uh yeah guys that's pretty much it i think my favorite die cast in all this is probably the denny hamlin Daytona 500 champion because this is one of the cars of this set that I did not have as you can see the back I was missing two it was the Logano and this one but yeah guys I got the Denny Hamlin Daytona 500 win out of all this which is really really cool to see this car and of course Joey Logano I, a car that I just did not have now I have it uh looks to be in pretty good shape so Always looking forward to that. So, yeah, guys, that has been the review or review, the uh, haul of these uh, die casts. What do you guys think of all this stuff? Comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next uh, video here on Circle Club Entertainment. It'll probably be the St. Louis Cup race in the career mode and maybe hopefully some other videos. So, all right, guys, uh, make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your die casts.